Mighty implements with which to work the very rock of this tiny world. I am so impressed. Not smash their monstrous contraptions.
well? Okay, Pox. I've cut off the source of the Blisk's radiation. Demolished the Blisk Cosmonaut Alliance. And basically provoked an all-out war around Solaris. I say it's time we take this fight to the Krabbies themselves. I think you're right. Well, why in the hell do You do? I do. And I even have an ace up our sleeve to destroy the Blisk once and for... What the hell is that? Oh no! That's the launch sequence alert! The Blisk are launching their weapon! Well, maybe it's not so bad. Dream on! Those sadists are incapable of anything less than full-scale annihilation! Okay, keep your G-string on. There's gotta be a way to stop that launch. What? How did you know about my G-string? No, no, never mind! Once initiated, there's no way we can abort the launch. However, if we overload the laser guidance system, the weapon might veer off target. Laser guidance system? What laser guidance system? The dishes, Crypto! Overload the dishes! Do the dishes, protect the Earth, save the Furon DNA. Got it. Man, whatever happened to destroying all humans? Let this be a lesson to you, Crypto. The best laid plans can be derailed by an unexpected case of the crabs. Now go! Politicians are saying we are needing radar in order to have energy door as security precaution. But we are on goddamn moon! Who's going to attack us? Martians? <laughs> oh, right. Since we are using solar energy to charge radar's energy door, maybe we won't be having to mine so much radiation. Boy, I should be being so lucky.
is not being okay. Come for lives. Choose joy. Bye. <laughs> 
Well, Cryptos Peridium, once again you've shown unexpected pluck. You've stopped my weapon launching. Pity, really. We had such glorious renovation plans for that pathetic little planet. But no matter. <laughs> You've nearly staved off the inevitable. You can't fight progress, Huron. Get this through your monkey brain, Mill and Cobb. We own that planet. And there's not a damn thing that you or your rusky pals can do about it. Such bluster, such overconfidence, <laughs> yet still you can't see the big picture. I wonder, would you feel so arrogant if you knew the full scope of our fiendish master plan? Millie, I'm gonna probe you so hard, you're gonna be wearing diapers for a month. I already take a weekly high colonic, but thank you for the offer. On the other hand, I wonder, would you be so bold if you knew our devilish master plan? You two-bit tin horn petty tyrant! I fart bigger than you! You think just because you can keep a few depressed peasants in line, you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I'm the king of the world! The master of disaster! The baddest dude in the whole damn town! King Kong ain't got nothing on me! King Kong died, Cryptosporidium. I wonder, would you be so sure of yourself if you knew our fiendish master plan? Jeez, you guys just gotta have your monologues, don't you? Okay, I give. What's your damn master plan? Let me guess, you and the Blisk are gonna spread those spores and enslave humanity. Commies and Krabbies, a match made in heaven. <laughs> Small minds, no imagination. It's nothing so mundane. We don't give a damn about humanity, Cryptosporidium. What we want from Earth is the same thing you want. Survival. So the Krabbies want a new crib. What's wrong with Mars? Mars is a desert. An acid wasteland. You fur on so to that. But Earth. Earth is three-fifths water. All it lacks is massive radioactivity. To become a new Eden. A new radiated ocean paradise for Blisk! But what about the Russians? Your people can't live in that. My people? <laughs> oh, you really aren't very bright, are you? Why do you think we've waged Cold War? Encouraged the buildup of nuclear arms? Good God, what sane human would pursue such obvious suicide? 1908, Blisk warship crashes. 1917, October Revolution. To the mad! You, of all creatures, should know. Aliens walk among us, Dahl. You're not... Suggesting... Suggesting? I'm telling you! Lenin, Stalin, Khrushchev! Trotsky? Please, don't be ridiculous. It helped that Russian is so close to Bliskish. No coincidence, of course. The Furans aren't the only race who ever used Earth for... Sure, live. Face it, Kritos Poridium. You Furans keep an out scheme. The history of the Soviet Union is the history of Blisk on Earth! The loss of our spores is a blow, but in the end it makes no difference! Soon, Earth will be ours! No more humans! No more Furo DNA! And there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it! Lestromia Cryptosporidium.
be a good time to tell me about that ace up your sleeve you mentioned. Octopus loins, I'd almost forgotten! Crypto, you're a genius! Using Pox Lab, I've created a new virus that will infect and kill the Blisk. Catchy. Let's hope so. I've arranged for it to be delivered to the moon by a new courier company. Oh, what's the name? The North American Shipping Association. Anyway, everyone calls them NASA. You wouldn't believe the cost of shipping to developing galaxies. I should mention, though, there have been some... Uh, complications. Okay, I'll buy. What kind of complications? The delivery men are refusing to land without clearance from their boss. A fellow called Houston. They're just hovering there waiting for orders. And let me guess, we're gonna give them those orders, right? Exactly. I'm a regular rich little. Okay, let's get contagious. of my triple signal system. No one believes me, but I am convinced that by using multiple comm towers, we can communicate with spacecraft three times faster. It makes perfect sense. And they say Soviet science is in fear. Somebody stop me! 
Scientists are turning off the communication towers. If all of them aren't active, we won't be able to send a strong enough signal. Crack those eggheads and get those towers up and running. Leon!
anguish. Can't wake up. Need ions badly. Use dial detonator on idle. Zone activated.
That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That's it? What? One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind? Seven months and that's the best you could come up with? But you didn't like it? No, I didn't like it. It's crap. Where'd you find it? On a cereal box? I thought it sounded profound. Profound? You wouldn't know profound if it hit you over the head with a Camus novel. You think Merv Griffin's a deep thinker. Listen, mister, I'm getting a little tired of your lip. Oh, yeah, Commander Big Shot? What are you gonna do about it? Pull the plug on this mission, that's one. Sorry, Houston, but I can't work another second with this jackass. Get in the car. Get in the car. All wrong. Oh. <laughs> 